When you create your GLPI instance, you might want to use some new categories to your tickets, changes, or problems. And to create them, we are going to navigate into our dropdowns into Setup, Dropdowns, and in Future Dropdowns, we are writing ITIL categories. So we are filtering just the categories. In ITIL categories, we are going to create some categories so I can use GLPI categories and changes, problems, and tickets. In these fields, we may add a name, a comment to make it easier to understand what is this category for, a child of when you have a possible dependency of categories in a tree of categories, a technician in charge, which is the person that is in charge of this category every time a ticket is opened, a group in charge, which is the same thing of a user, but for groups, the knowledge base, which is the category of knowledge base articles related to this category, the code representing the ticket in categories, if you want to use business rules for categories and not use the whole name of a category, you can use numbers, and all of these drop-downs for visible in the simplified interface, which means that self-service users are going to see this, visible for incident, request, problem, and change. All of these four are fields to define if this category is going to be just for tickets, just for requests, just for changes, just for problems, or for all of them. This is especially useful if you want to restrict when someone is going to choose this category just for requests or incidents, for example. The templates for a request for a change, incident, and problem, the same thing. When someone chooses this category for one of these items in GLPI, GLPI can take a template previously created and already populate or fill in the fields with this template data but we are going to talk about templates in another video. So I'm going to create a software category, which the technician in charge is myself, the group in charge is the tech group, and I'm letting it visible just for incidents and requests and not for the simplified interface. I'm not adding a code representing it right now because I don't need it and I don't have any template. Here I have a note for you. On your top right, you have a field saying child entities. So every time you check this box, every entity below the entity where you are at the moment you are creating this category are going to be able to see this category or use this category according to the profiles and to the users of those entities. So in this case, I'm letting it unchecked because I just want to use it on the root entity and I'm adding it. And just one more thing, I'm going to create a new one. So software malfunctioning, technician in charge, again myself, the group in charge, the tech group, and visible just for incidents because in this moment I don't want people to open tickets for requests. I'm adding it and another one so I can have it for requests. Software installation. Technician in charge. Same thing. Visible for request not for incident, not for change, and visible for the simplified interface. I'm adding it. And right now, as an end user, a self-service user, I'm going to open a ticket for incident and for request without template this time. Create a ticket. If I choose incident, I'm going to see every ITIL category that is visible for incidents. So here I see servers and software malfunction. Software XYZ is not working. Submit the message. 
And every time I want to open a request, I'm going to see every ITIL category visible for requests. So if I change it to request, the page will refresh the categories and I'm going to see software installation, but not malfunctioning. So software installation, install software XYZ. Submit message. And now I have two tickets opened with my categories already created.